If you love free motion quilting the way I do, then you're always on the lookout for ways to make it easier. I sew on a Foff home domestic sewing machine and look how easy it is for me to see my quilting as I work now that I've installed the modified free motion ankle on my machine. Now you may not know what the ankle is and that's going to make it kind of hard for you to really appreciate the impact of this invention so let's take a quick look at a Foff home domestic sewing machine and you'll see what I mean. The ankle is this part here and it holds the presser foot that you use when you're doing normal sewing, like sewing seams or doing zigzag work or using all the different decorative stitches on your machine. It does a great job, but it's very bulky, so it kind of obscures your view when you're doing free motion work. Here you can see the original Foff ankle on the left and the new modified Foff free motion ankle on the right. Can you see that the modified ankle has eliminated the bulky part? Losing that excess bulk because you don't need that part of the ankle as your free motion quilting really opens up your field of vision. Let me show you this in action now. This is me quilting with the original ankle. Now don't get me wrong here. I really just love all my fofs and they are great for doing free motion work but can you see how bulky the ankle is that's obscuring my field of vision? I can still quilt with it, but gosh, if there's a way to make this better and easier, of course I'm going to take the easier way. Now look how much easier this all just became with the new modified ankle. I no longer have that bulky section of the ankle obscuring my vision. Wow, this is great and it's really opened things up for me. Don't go away because I've got to show you something really cool here. Sometimes, in order to minimize how much bulky quilt I've got to place in my throat space, I need to stitch out quilting designs backwards or away from myself. That old ankle was really a problem with this kind of stitching, but look how easily I can see my work as I'm stitching this feather design backwards. This modified ankle just makes everything so much easier. Now you're probably thinking that swapping out this ankle is going to be a really big deal and you're going to need all kinds of tools. No way! This is really fast and easy to do, so let me show you. The only tool you'll need to make this conversion is a flathead screwdriver and we've all got several of those around the house. This conversion involves unscrewing the one screw at the top of the ankle. Notice that I have removed my darning foot or free motion foot before I begin this process. If you'd like even more space, feel free to remove the needle, but you don't have to. Once that screw has been removed, just swap out the original ankle for the free motion ankle and replace that screw. You are now ready for your next free motion adventure. The idea for this modified free motion ankle came from Nolita Wacaster of Morganton, North Carolina and the ankles are made and sold by Bill's Sewing Machine Company in Hildebrand, North Carolina, an authorized Foff dealership. Nolita told the store manager she wanted to have a better view of her quilt when she was doing free motion work, so Terry Townsend, the store manager, sat down and watched her quilt to see what kind of modification they could make. Terry asked the store's service technician, Nick Porter, to create a modified ankle, and voila, this wonderful invention was born. I should tell you that I have no financial interest in this product, but I've fallen in love with it because it really makes my free motion work easier, so I'm spreading the word. If you're interested in buying one for your machine, contact Bill's Sewing Machine Company at 828-397-6941, and in the meantime, happy quilting! <laughs>